Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the annotations in the playwright. So let's begin. Annotations are really helpful when you are actually writing your test scripts. Now let's see what are the annotations in the playwright. So go to the browser here and in the browser search for playwright official website which is playwright.dev. Then we are using Node.js. Then go to the docs here and here search for annotations okay click on this one and you see that we have these annotations like test.skip we have test.fail we have test.fixme then we have test.slow so basically what is the purpose of these annotations playwright test suppose test annotations to deal with the failures flakiness skip focus and tag the test so when you are working with the playwright test in some cases you might need to skip the test when you are executing your script okay in some cases you want to intentionally fail the test okay in some cases you want to mark the test as a test dot fix me in some cases you want to make it slower right so let's see this one by one and i have already created a file here and it contains three test cases basically so we are going to orange osharim website here we are asserting our title here then we are asserting the url and finally we are verifying the login button okay so if i go to the browser again here and let me show you about these tests so basically what we are doing here is that we are asserting three different things first this url then if we right click on this book inspect and go to the head section here and here this is the title we are verifying this title and the third thing is basically this login button okay we are verifying the text of this login button here okay so we have these three test cases now what you need to do is that for example if you want to skip the first test but before that let me execute this complete test here so you will see that we have three test cases and we will having either pass or fail right now the first test should fail because the title should be on hrm not the on hrm one so our one test case will fail here and we'll try for this one okay and this should pass and again this should pass here okay and you see that our first test, test is basically failing here okay now basically if we want to pass this one so simply what i'll do is that i will remove this one and now you see that our first test is failed here and it says we received orange hrm and but we are expecting orange hrm one here that's why it got failed now okay now let me go here and save this one and run this again so you will find that all the test cases three test cases will be passed here okay now once it will be passed we will be using the annotations to understand more about how the annotations work and what is the difference between these annotations so that when you are working with the actual scenarios you should be aware of these annotations okay so it executing all the three tests and you see that all three tests are passed now now the first thing we need to understand is that if we want to skip this test while executing so simply test dot skip okay so what happens is that when you will use this one so you need to use these annotations on the top of this one so if i hover this one here here so you will see that they have already provided us how to use them so it should be you know executed right on the top of the test okay so when you use test.skip basically when you execute this one so this test will not be executed so you will see that only two tests will be executed the one verify url and the other one is the verify login button okay so let me run this one and see what happens here so it will only execute the two cases because when the playwright will go inside the first test 
it will find the test or skip so it will skip the first test and only execute the remaining two tests here so you see that one test skipped and two are passed here okay now in the same way we need to use the other annotations so for example let me go with this and let me change this to the fail one now this is a very tricky one to understand but let me show you you will understand the difference and understand this annotation properly so when you mark test.fail and again if you hover on this one the usage is basically on the top of the test okay so unconditionally marks a test as a should fail so basically what it means it means is that according to you according to as an automation engineer you know that this should fail right but in case if your test is passing it will prompt you okay so it will work in a reverse way so let let's show this one see what happens right now our test is passing okay because the title is orange rm but when we marked it as test.fail so let's see what happens here what playwright will tell us about this particular test because we have marked it as test.fail and you see that it's retrying the verified title this one okay and here you see that it says expected to fail but passed it's telling us that you mentioned that it should fail right but it is not failing it is getting passed okay and that's why we are getting this one and here you see that expected to fail but it, it is passing it is doing the reverse of what we are uh, doing in terms of the assertions now if i go back here and if i intentionally fail this now now we know that this test should fail okay and we have also mentioned that test dot fail we are telling the playwright that this is the test which should fail right so let's see now this time what happens what playwright tells us about this particular test so let's run this again and see what happens here so it will execute these ones and let's see what information we get about this particular test here so it's verifying the url now the second one then verifying the login button and once it will verify we will get the logs here so here our all three tests pass right just because that we know that we are telling the playwright that this test should fail that's why this test or fail is giving us pass because it's actually failing here in case if it is passed so just like the previous one it will tell us okay you are expected this test to be failed but this is the passing right but here it's actually it's failing and we we know that it should fail that's why test dot fail is giving us pass so it's doing a reverse of what we are doing in terms of the assertions here okay now uh, then we have the other assertions other annotations here so if we go back here so we we saw that how test dot skip work we saw that how test dot fail works here now test dot fix me now let's see what it will do so simply here i will change this to test dot fix me okay now by using this annotation what happens here actually when you use this annotation then what actually happened how playwright will interpret this test here see let's see so it is executing all the three tests now and now you see that one test is skipped and two are passed here now what is the difference between skip and fix me so basically when you are talking about the skip it will skip the test right it will not execute the that one and here you are using test dot fix me that this means that tomorrow as automation engineer you should remember that this there is some problem with this test and when there is some problem with the test then you need to fix it tomorrow maybe later in your sprints in the release so it will help you okay in this way and the second thing is that when we are talking about the skip so we can skip the test with the condition 
whereas in the test.fixme we will not be providing any kind of a condition here okay so if i go back here and change this to basically a uh, to the escape with the condition so condition can be anything here so if i go here and let me change this to escape okay and now inside this i can provide the condition here so simply if i go here and assume that in some cases what happens is that we might need to execute some test specific to the browser for example you want to execute some script specifically on the chrome maybe on the firefox right so in that case this is the approach here so that you can escape the one test here which you don't want to execute on other browser okay so inside this we be going the name of the browser browser name okay and then followed by basically the arrow function and that arrow function is basically browser name okay and what i'm saying is that is not equals to not equals to for example fire fox okay and it should only run on the chrome okay so i will giving the information here as okay chrome neum so basically like this is a chromium browser chromium only okay so this is what i am doing here so this test case will only skip if the browser is not equals to firefox it should run only on the chromium we are using the chromium right now because if i go to my playwright.config file so we are executing our scripts in the chromium directly right so if i go here and run this one so it will work based on this condition so this is the difference between the test or escape and the fix v now the fourth annotation is basically if i go here and go to the annotations here the fourth one is test dot slow so basically by default the execution is really fast okay in some cases your application might be responding really slow and what you can do is that instead of this one simply go here and make it test dot slow so by default the execution time out is basically a 30 seconds and when you use test dot slow it will multiply it by 3 right so it will you will see the execution really slow in this particular case so this is the purpose of this particular annotation we go here mark the test as slow and triples the test time out so by default it's a 30 seconds so triple means it will be 90 seconds so you if you want to change the time outs you can do it in the configuration file so let me go here and let's run this and see what happens here let's go here and run this one and see what happens here so because now we have marked it as test dot slow where it will multiply the time out into 3 and see what happens though it uh, the test is failing because the orange charm one is not we are getting we are getting the orange charm the session is failing here but the reason here just to understand is that the execution will be slower in terms of execution okay and there is one more thing here if we talk about uh, test so so you will see that test dot only okay so what it will do it will only execute this particular test if we go here so here if we go here so it's, it's telling us how to use it here in this particular case it is not suggesting us the way we were using the previous annotations it is saying that you should use in this way test dot only so i will remove this line from here and i will go here and use only okay and now if i run this one so it will only execute one test you see that one of one chromium and it will verify this particular test so now the question might arise that can we use multiple test dot only 
So the answer is yes. Okay. So if I go here and use only with this test here, so these two test cases will be executed. This will be skipped. Okay. So here we go here and run this one here. So you see that it's one of two instead of the three. So it will only execute the first two test cases here. So it's really helpful when you are actually working with your tests. You might need to escape. You might need to slow down the timeouts. You might uh, you need to use the fix me notation so that tomorrow you should remember that which test case needs to be fixed and which test cases you are intentionally make sure that these should fail. So these are really helpful. And here you see that two are passed and this is a slow test, slow test file. Consider splitting the slow test file to spend up to speed up a parallel execution. Okay. So that's all about the annotations in the playwright. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.